for long queues on the right hand side of your television screens. These are not queues as we had seen earlier for basic amenities, but these are now queues of the general public lining up uh, to go and uh, check the presidential palace inside of the luxuries in which uh, uh, the political class stayed in Sri Lanka. Uh, there are long queues, not just for the presidential palace, but also to enter the temple trees. Uh, that is the residence of uh, Prime Minister Ranil Vikram Singhe, a portion of which was set on fire uh, last week in in fact, uh, what we also know at the moment is uh, uh, that all these people, and uh, Shrija spoke to them on the ground, are coming out with a sense of further alienation from the political class, also resentment against the political class so with the kind of opulence that they are seeing inside the presidential uh, palace. But uh, this is uh, some so sort of, a, in some sense, uh, an ironical and a bizarre situation where serpentine queues now can be seen outside the presidential palace uh, for people to take a tour of uh, Gotabaya's uh, residence. Let's uh, quickly now listen in to this report that Shrija has sent us. We are outside here in the backyard of Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe's official residence, Temple Trees. Now, this is a community kitchen, a long queue. People are waiting in the long queue. It's a sultry afternoon holding umbrellas and moving in this particular queue waiting to take uh, their share of food that's being cooked here at the community kitchen in the backyard of Prime Minister Ranil Vikrabe Singh's official residence. Now this is the very residence that was also ransacked by several of the protesters and uh, several of the protesters in fact say that uh, you know um, they will continue to uh, stay in this particular place until the big day which is the 13th of July the most important day which uh, Sri Lankans are waiting to witness in terms of the resignation of Go Mr. Gotabaya Rajpaksa as far as the community uh, kitchen is concerned there are several donations that come by and uh, several of the volunteers that cook and ensure that they are serving food uh, to those who come especially to um, this particular official residence, which is the temple trees, who are taking a tour, sauntering around, and also having a look at this particular place, which they believe that they have never had an opportunity before. This could, of course, be just once in a lifetime opportunity for them, because you never know when is the next, because this, they call it as a political revolution, uh, especially the Sri Lankans. It's an uprising that they are seeing it as. And all this while, despite, you know, several months, it's just not a matter of one or two months but for several months almost crossing and touching 100 days we see uh, the protesters say that this is their victory reporting in the backyard of prime minister ranil vikramasinghe's official residence temple trees in colombo with camera person kumar shrija for ndtv